diving into the world of quarter centuries to see how Bonanza is holding up. Make sure you guys smash the subscribe button, that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on more Oz content. Quarter Century Bonanza's had an entire weekend to sift through in here, and I wanted to deep dive into this and see how ratios are looking, how we're expecting this set to be doing its thing. And Blue Eyes White Dragon is settling at $64 currently with 26 listings. This, the same thing you're going to be noticing across the board with a lot of this stuff is quantities are going to feel kind of low. You know, you've, you've got like 40 on like the high end, but then you're looking at like the mid-20 range for a lot of these. Engage coming in at $50. I'm actually surprised to see this is the second most expensive one in the set. Dark Magician coming in at $43, to be expected. Dark Magician Girl, typically referred to as the C version, is $49 on up to $50. Dark Magician Girl B is $54, so it does prove that those Dark Magician Girl prices are doing their thing. And then, of course, Triple Tactics Thrust actually going back up to the $50 range. Dark Magician Girl A coming in at $40. That's to be expected. Caius the Shadow Monarch is $50. Now, I've been on record saying I do expect this card to eventually go $50 on up to $80 for, you know, what it's available in its older format range. And I'm still going to stick to this. All right, looking at your quantities available, here all of these are mainly one ofs like core has a few or six and then nine but you know if you're going to just see one of populations these things are just going to get wiped off the market relatively quickly so that's a little bit interesting to be seeing out here sky striker she's a cool altar only 40 dollars actually which is kind of interesting i actually have a picture of this here this actually looks pretty nice I will say, but I decided not to pick those up. I liked the original version a little bit more. And Judgment Dragon actually coming in at about $42 right now, which is very interesting. So, I mean, page one is everything that you were kind of expecting in the quarter century department, for sure. Black Luster Soldier, the Envoy of Chaos, $45. A little bit more than I was initially expecting, for sure. Necros at Brionic has actually shifted up to 32. I mean, we ha we've had you have 13 listings of this left right now. The reason for this is you did get that Necros support smashed out. It got confirmed. People lost their minds and started picking it up. I mean, it's to be expected. Elmendoyer Stratos, 35 bucks. That's a little bit interesting. Boys Ultimate at 35, a little bit short of the Ghost Rare. Uh, Linkage coming in at 35. I think these will go up a little bit more. Of course, you've got Regankis are at 33 to 34 dollars, and then Flame Wingman actually is a 31 dollar QCR. Following it up, Magic Cylinder 20 dollars. Wow, Upstar Goblin is 50. I mean, it's also going up to 55. A lot of people want their play sets of these, so you're going to continue to see this bump up. Red Eyes Black Dragon at 27. Okay, your quarter centuries. These are not holding down. Bonfire's only $25. They're actually pretty good. Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight, $30. $30 Thunder King Ryos to be expected. I also don't think these are going to stay down for too long. Totally Awesome got bought out over the weekend. $35 bucks right now, which is kind of crazy to be seeing. Most of the ones that were in like the core pool are a lot cheaper. Dark Paladin, $23. We did see that that was a very, very, very expensive one. $29 Jinzos. Oof. Cyber End Dragons, 23s. All right. We've also got Slife for the Sky Dragons at 28s. Polymerizations, 27s for the Hero Art. Brionix, 23s. That's a little bit up there. I don't really necessarily like that all that much. Hey, look, Chaos Emperors, 23s. The Black Luster Soldier being worth more than the Chaos Emperors. Very canon, though. $40 allures. Those got tanked out of the weekend. You also got Cyber Dragons. Or, yeah, these are 20 bucks. Okay, Red, uh, Red Eyes Black Metal Dragons or Darkness Metals, 25 bucks, actually going up to 30. Wow, okay. Eradicators are 20 bucks. I actually want to see what one of those look like. Those are actually down. Ubel Ultimate Nightmares, 22s. We've also got the Terrors at 25s. Plague Spitters coming in at 21s. We've also got Summon Skulls at 17s. These were actually, these were bought out very early day one and have shifted down, actually. Grandmasters at 20s. Okay. There are so many pages of QCRs, by the way. All right. $17 Black, or Tomb Black Luster Soldiers. That's actually really cool. Cold Weave is a $20 card and has been holding. All right. We got Ancient Gear Golems at 20 bucks. All the mighty are up there. We also got the legendary Six Samurai Kizans at 21s. Tragodias are at $18. Heavy Storms, these are $25. Bucks. 
Uh, this one I am worrisome about with a future ban list. If this does come back, this card's going to blow up to like some stupid number. Dimensional Fisher's also only 20. Icarus Attack's 20. Elemental Year Absolute Zero is $23. Sure. Mirror Force at 21. Okay. So, um, so far a lot of $20 cards. Like, honestly, Kaikus are 18 bucks. Treeborn Frogs at 17s. Reborn Tengus at 13s. Dark Magician the Dragon Knight, 15. Premature Burial, 21. Uh, $20 Mechanical Chasers. I love that. That's hilarious. Uh, House Dragon Made Alt Arts are down to $17. Hmm. These two look nice. Wing Dragon Raw, 18 bucks. Okay. We also got Breaker at 15. All right. Lightning Vortex at 17. This is another one to keep an eye on. Uh, all real things concerned about that, though. That is one of those things you're like, okay, Instant Fusions at 15s. DD Warrior Ladies at 14s. You've also got Spirit Reapers at 15s. Starlight Roads at 16s. $20 Neptibus. Okay. We also got Deharks at $20 on here. Trade ins coming in at 14s. You got Future Fusions at 11s. Gear Frames coming in at 18s. And then, of course, Graceful Charities also at the $18 mark. Um, interesting to see Graceful Charity hitting um, a decent price point. Say the least. We got Black Whirlwinds at 15s. Cameratech Overdragons, 8 bucks. Okay. We also got $12 Cybersteins. I love that. That's hilarious. Pot of Avarice is at 17s. Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus is at 13s. Nightmare Phoenix is at 18 bucks. Necroz of Unicorns, 18s. Those are bumping up. Gateway of the Six, 13s. Seeker Village is also at 18s. That's pretty decent, actually. And Dragon Maid Hospitality Altarts are 15s. Um, shifting on back here to the very end, the lowest of the low, um, as we're going to say, um, Dual Academy has also gone up a little bit. That's kind of hilarious. You've got Horn of the Phantom Beast at $1.20, which is your cheapest card. Crystal Shark at $1.25. All right. Hello, Curse Seal, the Forbidden Spell. These at $1.23 are worth picking up, like, for a playset, especially if you, like, played Runic. Like, that was an auto pickup for me. Kunai with Chain being $1.70 is hilarious. We got $2 summoning curses, which I don't even really feel like I need to pick those up. Ballista is kind of doing their thing. Uh, the Bigfoot alt arts are $2. This is one of those cases. I mean, if you want high rarity danger cards and you like the Yeti, pick them up. All right, Hatsumes are threes. You've got Salons at twos. Um, okay. Um, this the the garbage is garbage. All right, like let's be honest here. Grave of the Superancient Organism is three dollars. Um, you just gotta. Do I want QCRs or do I want Altis? It comes down to your rarity specifications. Also, circles. These are good if you're um, a Salaman great player. This price, I think, is really, really budget. Dragon Maid Hospitality regular versions are threes. <laughs> Suk Samurai Uniteds are three dollars. Ritual Beast Elders are also three dollars. And then, of course, we got Dual Towers at th uh, threes. Mausoleums are a dollar sixty-eight. If you did like the Horus deck that you you know you could draw a blad on, and you're looking at Mausoleum, it's like a one of. All right, like spend spend the dollar or two, pick it up, enjoy it. Revealer at three bucks, Super Dreadnought at three dollars for the not alt art. Nemesis Corridor also at three dollars. This garbage is bad. Cyber Volley is a ten dollar card. Okay, I'm glad to see Cyber Volley doing its thing. Laundry Dragon made at four dollars. We've also got Thunder Dragon Dark at three. Wow, Anti Magic Arrows three. Dragon made Lapore at four dollars. Punishment Dragon is a four dollar card. That's kind of impressive. Apprentice Magician is four dollars. Trap Hole is at three dollars. Okay, we got Red Eyes Insight at four dollars as well. We have Motion Cannon at three. Ew. <laughs> All right, sure. House Dragon made five bucks. Nemesis Flag at four. Redox at five. We also got Genix Ally Birdman at four. We got Strike Ninja at four. Five dollar Clockworks. Sure. We got Lightning Dragon Ruler. Hello, five dollars. Lord of Heavenly is at four. Five dollar morphing char number twos. Ugh. Ostinato's at fours. Okay, so um, everything we've gotten out of this set so far. Uh, there's a lot more expensive stuff than I think a lot of people are kind of expecting. I expected prices to be a little bit higher, but it's fine that you're seeing this adjustment of value in the quarter century department because you gotta remember when we had that pull ratio dead and we had the chance to see kind of what was going on here. You know, quantities are very interesting, to say the least, with this set. So what do you guys think about everything? Please, leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and I will see your beautiful faces back here in the day, guys. Peace. Patrons!
Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.